ध्यान इस कंसंट्रेशन वन पॉइंटेडनेस ऑफ होल्स एंड माइंड ओ होल्स एंड वन पॉइंटेडनेस इस को ध्यान ध्यान has its own factors uh, in order to attain jhana one has to overcome hindrances like uh, greed anger sleepiness and drowsiness restlessness and worry and uh, doubt when these these are called five hindrances they are they they are called hindrances because they hinder they obstruct the gaining of uh, concentration therefore one has to overcome them in order to attain jhana when these uh, are overcome uh, they actually are held at bay not totally completely destroyed however in their absence jhanic factors arise the factors are initial thought application of thought joy happiness and concentration when these factors work together in unison as a team that instant that moment mind gain very good high quality concentration and that high quality concentration a uh, concentrated state of mind is called jhana the that attainment is jhanic attainment that state that the state itself is called jhana <clears throat> anybody can attain jhana provided the person has uh, time and is dedicated to the practice and uh, do it regularly consistently uh, in sitting posture you cannot attain jhana while uh, walking talking running playing games and swimming and so forth when you are physically and mentally very busy you cannot attain jhana you have to have a very quiet place a uh, secluded place and uh, you have to uh, have a very relaxed peaceful state and place where there are there's no noise of course we cannot find noise less place there may be noise should be minimum a uh, minimum noise Uh, environment is uh, more conducive to gaining uh, concentration uh, that's what that is that is why the solitude is absolutely necessary for gaining concentration you have to find a quiet place empty house or even in your own room you got to turn off all your cell phones uh, your regular phone uh, the com- computers and the TVs and so forth if you have a house pets like dogs who, that make noise uh, they have to you have to make them sit quietly calmly some dogs are very uh, cooperative they uh, they are obedient so you have to um, make them sit quietly so you have to create a meditative at- atmosphere quiet peaceful atmosphere and then sit in a, a comfortable posture <clears throat> uh, among comfortable posture the best of course is the lotus posture which is called diamond posture once you sit in that posture uh, you have to uh, close your eyes and uh, focus uh, you have to make a sort of a contour survey of your body to see to to become aware of where the body uh, where the head is where the shoulders are how straight the body is uh, once you made this survey uh, and close your eyes and start the practice if uh, due to uh, hindrances if you fall sleeping uh, and 
drowsy uh, you probably might uh, slant forward backward or sideward especially when everything is comfortable cushions are comfortable room is air conditioned there's no noise and uh, you the posture you have adjusted uh, so <coughs> even you have a very uh, uh, sort of a dehumidifier or if it is a humid date you may have and dry days you may have humidifier you know day with a lot of uh, uh, humidity you may have uh, dehumidifier and so forth all these are these are working very smoothly to make everything quiet and calm and peaceful the posture is quiet and that is the atmosphere where you can practice jhana uh, as I said, uh, uh, when you keep the body straight, you have to have a, a subject for jhana, to gain, uh, to gain jhana. <coughs> there are various subjects. The easiest uh, one we uh, recommend is uh, your own breath. You uh, close your eyes, focus your mind on the breath and take few deep breaths to notice the sensation of breath. You may feel the sensation of breath somewhere in your nasal area. You don't have to force to look for uh, the place where the breath touches. Uh, in order to gain concentration, however, you have to find one single spot where the breath touches when you breathe in and out uh, to focus your mind on. Once you start found the place, uh, rims of the nostrils or tip of the nose or upper lip or inside the nose between eyes there you focus your mind exclusively without thinking of anything outside without trying to uh, take all the details of breathing into account simply become aware of this place the touch the sensation of the breath and keep focusing your mind as the mind unites with the breath, then your as hindrances sometimes become active, like especially sleepiness and drowsiness. Uh, once you have overcome that, then uh, its opposite might become active, like restlessness and worry. Uh, when you overcome that, then sometimes uh, greed or desire, clinging, can arise in your mind if you manage to overcome that anger or resentment can arise in your mind when you have overcome all of them you may still have certain doubts you overcome them overcoming these hindrances also become easier when you assume a comfortable posture and then initial thought arises. Initial thought is the thought of uh, uh, friendliness, compassion and letting go. That is what we call generosity. That means you don't try to hold on to anything. You, whatever arises, you can see it passes away. So you let it pass away. Don't try to stop it. Don't try to hang on to it. These three types of uh, wholesome thoughts uh, begin to uh, arise in a very uh, systematic way. Uh, systematic way means very, very, without any hindrances, without any difficulties. For instance, generosity is against the greed, that is one hindrance. Uh, and then uh, compassion is against uh, cruelty that also part of the hindrance of hatred and uh, then uh, uh, non uh, uh, cruelty uh, or compassion uh, arise against as uh, cruelty uh, so these are the beautiful thoughts that uh, begin to activate at that time when everything is calm. You, you, you feel letting go of everything. You have very compassionate feeling towards all living beings. You will have a very friendly feeling for all living beings. 
and that's a wonderful uh, experience in order to gain concentration. Then it remains in the mind, that's called sustained thought. Then, because of their presence in the mind for a certain period of time, you experience joy. Uh, and when joy increases by degrees, you gain happiness. When the happiness I increases by degrees, uh, becomes very strong. Happiness is a contentment, settled, settled mind, quiet, quietening, settling. Uh, uh, your satisfaction uh, is expressed in, in uh, happiness. Then you gain concentration. So on. Uh, to gain concentration, you go to follow these steps, and once you gain this con type of concentration, that attainment is called jhana. Uh, jhani concentration is necessary. That means a high quality of concentration. Uh, this concentration uh, you gain. Also, when you have hindrances, uh, overcome hindrances, with the hindrances you cannot attain liberation or enlightenment, even the stream entry. Uh, even for attaining stream entry, you have to have a high quality concentration. That uh, may be uh, jhana, that may not be jhana. Uh, for instance, uh, when you listen to a Dhamma talk, your mind is fully preoccupied with the, the message of Dhamma and you become so relaxed and delightful, again become very happy right while listening to the Dhamma talk and you gain concentration and that uh, puts you on the track of attaining stream entry. So, but with the jhana, attainment of stream entry and so forth is easier. Without jhana, you have to have a previous meditative experience. If you have not done any meditation to cleanse your mind, purify your mind, to understand the Dhamma as it is uh, taught, uh, you cannot gain concentration or you cannot attain stream entry. Uh, therefore, either you have to have a tremendous amount of uh, accumulated experience from your past practices or you have to gain jhanas in order to attain uh, stream entry. So, uh, the jhanic attainment itself is not necessary for the attainment of the stream entry, but the concentration has to be uh, of high quality, <coughs> almost like jhanic concentration. Yes, actually the uh, right concentration is uh, uh, explained in terms of four jhanas, yes. right concentration. So, uh, it, there's a, a, a truth in it. Now, as I said, uh, at least you have to have a, a jhani concentration to attain stream entry. The jhani concentration is uh, sama samadhi, sama uh, what you call last step of the Noble Eightfold Path, Samma Samadhi. Uh, Samma Samadhi in the uh, perfect sense, fullest sense, of course, is the attainment of four jhanas. Uh, in, e even to gain this high quality, right concentration, high quality concentration without jhana, you have to follow the Noble Eightfold Path in order to gain right concentration. So, after following the Noble Eightfold Path, you are ready for uh, attaining a stream entry uh, at the time when the mind is uh, 
very highly uh, concentrated concentrated uh, so it is uh, in, we have many examples in practical uh, buddhist life uh, lay people's life or monks lives uh, who have uh, uh, listening who have listened to the dhamma and attain enlightenment a mystery and so forth uh, like uh, by Dharuchirya, uh, Upali, uh, Anya Kondanya, uh, and so forth. They, while Buddha was giving the sermon, uh, by the end of the sermon, they all attained stream entry and even sometimes Arahant some attain. But they develop their mind, uh, they have practiced uh, noble age for that so many times for so long. And now their mind is so clean and pure and, and strong and powerful. They have this uh, quality of right concentration, of course, of at least the poor Dhyani concentration. There's one discourse called Atthaka Nagara Sutta in Majjim Nikai. In that Sutta, Venerable Ananda has uh, pointed out or given instruction to uh, uh, Nagar, his name, uh, to attain uh, stream entry from the first jhana. So, some commentators like Buddha Gosa uh, say you need excess concentration, concentration very, very uh, highly uh, developed and very like, close to attainment of the first jhan, that level also is very pure level, strong, powerful level. Uh, but that uh, is not as powerful as the concentration itself, and yet the, yet it is powerful enough to uh, penetrate the, the, the truth, or uh, to attain stream entry. <coughs>